What's going on everyone? If you're new here, welcome to the channel, and if you're returning, welcome back. My name is Jake, I'm a 22 year old Forex trader from Toronto. I've been trading for almost six years now every single day, and I'm here to simplify and break down the skills and success that I've seen along the way. I trade live here on the channel every single day, and I've been doing it for the last year to give you guys real time insight into the trading style that I have, and how I apply simple concepts and see amazing results with my Forex trading. Everyone who is a regular viewer of my daily live stream knows exactly how it goes and how consistently profitable my trading strategy really is so I'm about to show you a few live examples that actually took place this week and I'm gonna break them completely down and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about keep in mind these two trades that I'm about to break down are pretty crazy and they both took place this week today is Thursday October 12th and I entered both of these trades within the last five days live on the stream before we get right into it I want to remind you guys that this is based on my own results and experience and experience really does play a huge part in Forex trading success Regardless of the strategy you're using, whether it's this one or any other strategy out there, the number one thing in my opinion that really brings that consistency to the next level is experience. Not only with your strategy, but also in the market. No matter how successful anyone could be with any strategy, if you apply it with no experience trading and no experience with that strategy, you're not gonna see the same results. Experience plays a big part of it. You know what you're looking for when you have experience. You're familiar with the way the market moves and the pairs move. It really does play a big part in it. But that being said, this is my strategy that I use and have been using for a long time. And I'm gonna break it down for you guys right now and show you how crazy it really can be, especially when you pair it with that experience. With all that being said, let's get straight into the strategy and let me show you these few crazy trades that I took this week using my strategy. All right, so now we're on the charts here as you guys can see. And the first trade that you guys are looking at is the first one I'm gonna break down using my strategy. I took this live on stream actually literally yesterday and I'm still in this position right now. So I entered this position right over here as you guys can see. Look how tight this stop loss is with a 1% risk, one to 22 risk to reward and that is not fake. Look at this, you can see it right here. It's actually one to 22 and a half. And it's a very beautiful position, right? I went tight stop loss, hopped in right here. Price started to make its way down here. Wasn't moving too quick, but still looking very nice. Didn't even go back up into drawdown at any point. And yeah, we've seen price continuously steadily drop from here. And we are still live in this position, you know, past my second take profit level on the way to the third. And uh, yeah, one to 22 risk to reward on this guy. So this is the first of the two trades that I'm going to be breaking down for you guys and explaining how my strategy works and how I caught this setup. So let's get right into that. The two different things that I use to find my entries and the two different things that make up the majority of my strategy. And those things are trend lines and support and resistance levels. So as you can see, we got some support and resistance levels right here coming down. These are my take profit levels. And then I also have this trend line here that I use to find that entry. So going to the higher time frame, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at and how I found this. It's just a little bit easier to fit in the screen here. So if I zoom out, don't worry about the look of this right now. I'm just trying to show you guys the trend line play here. You guys can see a nice trend line here, starting at the bottom of this wick, coming all the way up to this point here, right? A couple rejections along the way. Price made its way down, not quite to the trend line a few times here, but still looking pretty good staying above this trend line here. Rejection here, another one over here. We got three or four clean rejections, plus a few that aren't making it all the way towards that trend line, but still looking pretty good. Then we end up getting that break, retest of the trend line, and then price starts to fall. So really what I am looking for when I'm finding my setups using my strategy is I'm looking for a trend line to mark up. I look for my support and resistance levels to mark up, and then I wait for that trend line to be broken and retested before I look for that entry. Now, as you guys can see, that's exactly what happened here and it's perfect execution on this one. It's not always gonna be perfect, but this is a pretty good example. Um, break, price comes up for that retest. Enter as price is starting to come down. Tight stop loss, and yeah, it was pretty smooth from there. Now, there are plenty of situations where it won't go as smooth as this, and that's why I said earlier on in the video why experience as a trader and experience with the strategy do play a big role in success and consistency. So I did want to make that clear to you guys because not every single setup is going to just drop very clean and uh, avoid drawdown altogether. There are some that will range up in drawdown. Some just won't go our way. Some will inevitably hit the stop loss. Some might require me to adjust my stop loss while in the trade. Plenty of different ways it can go, and experience will help out with that. But the general concept of my strategy is this. Trend line, support and resistance levels, wait for that break and retest, and then enter the trade. Now, that can go with buys or sells. This is a sell setup, obviously. If it was a buy, it would be the opposite. Price would break above the trend line, come down for a retest, and then I'd look for buys coming up. Now, that's basically as simple as it gets, and this is a great example of this. Um, not only are my entries and setups very consistent and accurate, 
And I found that out over years of using this every single day, as well as using it every single day live on the channel for the past year. So very consistent strategy. And not only that, but also the risk to reward that I'm catching on these trades is straight up crazy, right? Usually when I enter a trade, I'm entering with full risk, which is 1%, like I did on this one, or what I would refer to as half risk, which would be half a percent, right? Everyone's risk tolerance is different, but that's how I like to do it. And on this one, since I risk 1%, if price were to come all the way down to my final TP, if I didn't secure profits along the way, that'd be a 22% growth on my account, right? Pretty crazy. Personally, I'd like to secure profit along the way, so I wouldn't be making 22% on a trade like this, but still very, very nice profit and a huge risk to reward, right? You'll see a lot of traders and a lot of strategies looking for setups that are like a one to three, one to two, one to four, one to five, maybe. But no, I'm looking for like one to fives to like one to tens typically. And then every now and then I'll find one that's a little bit bigger, like a one to 15. And in this case, a one to 22, pretty crazy, but I'm really maximizing that risk to reward so I can make as much as I can on each trade. And by also having a very consistent strategy, I don't take very many losses. So a lot more wins than losses, plus huge wins compared to small losses, make a very profitable strategy and a very profitable trader. So let me break down a little bit more of how I did this, how I caught the entry, and then I'll get over to my other example, which is the exact same thing. Because literally, I do the exact same thing every single day, same setups, same entries, very consistent. So, entered off the break in the retest. Depending on the situation, because it's not always going to play out the same, I'll catch a different kind of entry on a setup like this. Sometimes I'll look for that entry as price is breaking the trend line. Sometimes I'll enter the trade as price retests the trend line, like I did on this one. Price came up for that retest, then I entered the trade. Or sometimes I'd wait for that next level to be broken. In this case, it's a support level because it's a sell. So I'd wait for that break retest. And then once this support level's broken beneath it, I'd look for that sell coming down from there, which would mean I would have entered this trade around this area over here because that's when price ended up breaking the support level. So those are my three different kinds of entries. And I'll really look for whatever one I can find uh, depending on the situation, right? Whatever option looks the best in that situation, it's the one I'll go for, right? But it's the same type of thing. And I have a lot of experience trading these three different kinds of entries because like I said, the setups and the trades aren't gonna all look the same. So I have to try out different things and adapt and optimize my strategy as I gain more experience to make it as successful and consistent as I can in the long run. So that's gonna be that. Simple breakdown of my NZD JPY sell that I took literally yesterday on stream. Very crazy setup here. All the viewers saw it and uh, really enjoyed it. Someone ended up actually making 30K off of this trade. You guys can see that in the chat if you guys wanna go check out that stream. Um, very, very nice setup. That really does break down the gist of this strategy. Got the trend line break and retest. We got the support level broken and the other support levels as my take profit levels. In terms of where I placed my stop loss, I went really tight stop loss and got a high risk reward because price was right at that resistance level and I put my stop loss just above, right? I like to put my stop loss just above the nearest resistance level when it's a sell. If it's a buy, it would be just below the nearest support. Same thing, just flipped. Um, and yeah, this would be the nearest resistance level. If price would have pushed up above here, I would have taken an L. Um, but yeah, very tight stop loss. The stop loss isn't always gonna be this tight. Like I said, a one to 22 is a bit rare, but I'm usually catching anywhere between one and fives and one and 12s, uh, sometimes higher. And uh, yeah, that's really how it goes. On stream, I've had over an 80% record for the last year. Everyone who's watched has seen those trades play out. You guys can check them all out on the channel if you want to. Um, and yeah, that's literally just doing the same strategy, same thing every single day. And this is literally all I have to do. Super simple, a few support and resistance levels, a trend line, be patient, wait for a break and a retest, and then look for that entry. If price breaks, but then retests and closes back above the trend line, there's no entry for me. You know, if price breaks and retests, but makes its move without me being able to catch it, I'm not hopping in late. I wait for the next one or the next retest to find a little bit lower of an entry, but I don't just FOMO in just because I get that break and retest. There is a lot that goes into timing it properly. And that ties back into the experience that I mentioned before, but really all that I needed to do in order to kind of get the framework of my strategy together is figure out how to get good at placing support and resistance levels, which is not a very complicated thing. I have a video on the channel on that as well. I had to get good at placing trend lines, which is the same thing. Very simple to do once you get used to it and it doesn't take that much experience to get good at it. What takes the experience is waiting and finding the right times for the entries. And uh, yeah, it's not the easiest thing to do, but it is what it is. It's not too hard. And once you get the experience, it's pretty simple. Very nice setup here for the first example. Moving on now to my other example, and that is from earlier this week. I entered on Sunday at the market open and that is my UJ position right over here, right? So. I entered this as a one to 10 risk to reward trade, half risk when I entered and um, very clean setup, you know? 
Originally, my stop loss was a bit lower. It was like right down here, somewhere in this area. And as you can see, price did come up above that stop loss. But since I went half risk, what I did is I allow myself to go up to 1% risk on my positions. That's my normal risk amount. And when I go half risk, part of the reason for that in certain circumstances is so that I can pull my stop loss up a little bit higher to give it a bit more room in drawdown if I still like the setup and if I still want to see it play out and uh, if I think it can go for that win. You know what I mean? In this example, I had my stop loss right here, very tight for a one to 10, a um, little bit lower in here, but I actually think it was a bit lower than it was here. Uh, I was just playing around with it. Stop loss in this area, one to 10 risk to reward. Took this live on stream on Sunday. You guys can go back and check it out if you want. Hopped in, price starts to go up into some drawdown. So I pulled my stop loss up a little bit above this previous candle wick over here. And then price slowly starts to make its way out of drawdown until we eventually see a gigantic drop all the way to my final target right down here. So yes, I did pull my stop loss up towards here, making it about a one to five, one to six risk to reward. But when I entered it at half risk, it was a one to 10. And then obviously when price came back down, I moved my stop loss back to risk free. So my one to 10 position was able to just run clean all the way to the bottom, smack that final target for another beautiful position caught live on stream. Now, let me break down my entry here, right? Don't mind the support and resistance levels I have marked up here. These are not where they were when I was in the position. I've just moved them around since. But that aside, same exact type of entry as the previous example that I just showed you. We got the nice trend line starting at the bottom here with this wick. Nice rejection, nice rejection. Price rejects here again, sort of closes below, or I guess it doesn't close below, but it opens below. It comes back up until we eventually see that break. Once price breaks, doesn't come all the way up for that retest of the trend line. It's not always going to come up perfectly for that retest. Sometimes it'll come up perfect. Sometimes it'll come up a bit higher. Sometimes it'll come up a bit lower, right? Things aren't always going to play out the same. And that's, like I said, where the experience comes in. But we get that little bit of a pullback, which I considered a retracement in this situation. So when I'm entering this trade, I end up seeing price pull back a little bit here. Going to the lower time frame, I'll show you what I mean. Price started to pull back right over here after breaking out. Pulls back up here. In my eyes, it looks like price is ready to go. So I enter. Price does come up into some drawdown for a little bit, and that'll happen from time to time. It's not going to be a clean drop right off rip every single entry I take, but still very nice. Price does end up making the move shortly after being in some drawdown all the way down to that final target. It's the same exact entry as the previous. Trend line, break, retest, enter, price falls. Exact same thing. Simple, simple setup. There's not really much more to even go into on that because it's that simple. I have a couple support and resistance levels that I mark up. These aren't placed right, but just to give you an example of me marking them up, final target would be down there. My third target could be right here. Another TP could be like right here. And then my other take profit would be like right here. So just to give you a quick markup of some support and resistance levels, it's that simple. Support and resistance levels marked up, trend lines marked up, break and retest. There's the move. It's that simple. And it can work with some buys and it can work with some sells. These have been two sell setup examples from this week that I took live. Here's another sell example that I didn't enter, but I like talked about it and called it out on stream. Price breaks, comes up for that retest and drops. Exact same thing. Doesn't come all the way to the bottom, but comes to what my third take profit would have been. Then I have a buy example right here, which isn't as clean. I didn't hop in on it either, but I marked it up. Trend line starting up here. Got a couple rejections here. Not the cleanest, right? You don't have some like clear cut, nice rejections like we do on some of the other ones. Here we got a clear rejection, clear rejection, clear rejection. Here we got a rejection and then a bunch of like price kind of just trading along the trend line. So not as clean, still valid, but not as clean. Breaks, retests coming down and then pushes up. Literally, it can't get more simple than that. There's three perfect examples side by side, plus two that were taken live on my live streams here on the channel. So it really does get as simple as that. There's really not that much that goes into it. There are different things that can affect these setups, which also does tie back into the experience thing. News can play a role. There are many different things that can affect the setup and the strategy. So that is obviously why it's not a 100% accurate strategy. So not really much else to go into on that. You guys have seen it all here. I broke it down for you guys. It's that simple. And uh, that's all I got for you guys in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown here of these live trades that I took on stream. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna stay tuned for all the future videos and the daily live streams as well, make sure you guys hit that sub button and turn on the post notification bell so you guys get notified when all that stuff goes live. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys wanna see my previous video about the reality of growing a large Forex trading account, Click the screen right over here and I will see you guys there. Take it easy.